As a new player of the God of War franchise, I wasn't 100% certain if I was going to enjoy the game. God of War already had a whopping seven titles out already and I'd not played a single one, that is, until now. Brought to us by Santa Monica Studio, exclusively for the PS4, God of War is a well thought out video game. The development team have created a gameplay experience that is seamless, with beautiful scenery throughout, excellent dialogue between the characters, and controls that rival the best platformer games out there. I almost feel that if you didn't enjoy gaming, you could easily pick up this game and be hooked from the first chapter. As you start the game, within the first 10 minutes, I felt the loss that both Kratos and Atreus are feeling. The cinematic single camera shot involves you in every juncture, feeling, and continues throughout the game. There is not one moment missed. Even the struggle for Kratos to comfort his son is captured in such a tender way. Throughout these scenes, you feel like you're watching a movie. It's obvious the anguish and pain that both characters are going through, and they have the journey to come as Kratos prepares his son for battle. Voice actors Christopher Judge as Kratos, and Sonny Sawlidge as Atreus. We should get closer. Both give outstanding performances. Also, with the graphic design and lifelike effects given to each character, it's easy to be swept up in every emotion and feeling as the story unfolds. It's important once progressing through the game to continue to upgrade each character. Taking on stronger enemies will also help your character grow, however they do have the ability to kill you in a single hit. Always ensure that you have adequate armor and stronger weaponry. The Norse creatures, big and small, are strong foes to battle, so do always remember to keep upgrading both characters. Just always be on the lookout for chests, ruins, side quests and favours along your journey. By completing these tasks or opening chests, you will receive enchantments and the items will build up your weapon levels. The combos are also exciting to use and very straightforward, with R1 and R2 used to strike. The controls also to use Atreus in combination with Kratos is so well done. The speed and accuracy in both of their movements is a credit to the studio and once you have a stronger pair, even level 7 mini bosses will be a breeze to fight. The game was action packed at every cornerstone. It was also at the right moments and never too much or not enough. One fight after another is also concurrent in some areas which keeps your heart pumping, so be prepared for some epic battles. Certain areas also have greater difficulty to their mini bosses. The enemy characters are all exceptional and boss fights at the end of each location are quite challenging. The final area fights can also go for quite a while, with some of the fights taking me 10 to 15 minutes from my last death to complete. The game map is a vast area, but don't worry. You'll be able to travel back quickly by opening portal doors the first time you visit them. Once you return with extra weapons such as electric arrows or the Kratos blades, you'll be able to open chests that have once been locked. This will continue to build your level strength and give you more goals to do within the game. Do I have any gripes with the game? Of course, but only minor ones. I found that the controller can be particular on the O button when walking up to the boat, and sometimes I've also found that Atreus can be in the way. Other than that, I found the battles to be challenging but fun once I had the controls down pat. Once you've beaten the last boss, you'll be back on the initial story again. This brings you back to the cheeky and loving relationship between father and son. The ending has such a great explanation of Atreus and possibly what the future holds for the game franchise. I'm expecting many more games of this calibre from Santa Monica Studios and hopefully very soon. Game Plus is now available for those who finish God of War. But what can you expect? 
It is that little bit harder than the first time I've completed the game. I thoroughly enjoyed it just as much the second time around though, as I did the first time. I loved the fact I was able to increase Kratos and Atreus to higher levels. I only wish there was some extra worlds for me to run around in, but hopefully they can do that in an upcoming game in the future. I highly recommend that you get yourself a copy of God of War and play it through. It's such a fantastic game. You're going to enjoy the character progression and storyline most of all. Now 2018 has seen some fantastic titles already released, but I do think that God of War will be up there for the pick of Game of the Year. Now stick with me, for the rest of the year I'll be doing game reviews on what games I think will be up there for Game of the Year.